G'day everyone, it's uh, DJ Darks from Australia. Uh, I realised that there was quite a bit of controversy in that Criticise My Playing Style video. Um, everyone was sort of like, oh, you know, this is how I play, this is how I play, etc. And I figured that the video that I posted a year ago wasn't really that good at explaining the way I do things. So, I figured I'd make this video just to show you guys what I do. Um, I didn't really go through it in a lot of detail last time, but when I was with DJ Joey, I said basically I did that and didn't really elaborate much more. Um, what I meant to say was, what I usually use is my middle left on the first key, my index on the second key, my left thumb on the right key, and then with my right hand, I put my right index on the fourth key, thumb on the fifth key, uh, middle finger on the 6th key and ring finger on the 7th, so I was playing like that. Well, that was when Joey was, um, yeah, being tutored on whatever. But, um, I realised a couple of problems with my playing style, which I have recently tried to address, as in, like, in the past week or so. First of all, with my hand like this, I found that it's really, really hard to get to the scratch, because it means that I have to pretty much open my hand out straight away like that, if I want to get there. Second of all, um, I've noticed that some of the top end players have said that this really isn't important, but just to me personally, using these two fingers, the uh, ring and middle finger from the right hand on the 6 and 7, i found that you don't have a lot of mobility, you have to do that, and I've found that that really strains my finger, like, I, I can't bend my finger like that all the time to hit the 6 and 7 for those, like, complicated rolls. So, what I've tried to do is sort of model myself on DJ Totoro from Japan. Uh, what he seems to do, or lifeful or lethal or whoever you want to call him, is put his pinky finger on the seven like so. Now I know that Shala and some other people play like that with the uh, ring finger on the six, but I feel like if I do that, then there's a serious problem because, as someone mentioned before, the muscles in those fingers. Um, the tendon here stops you from moving the fingers as fast and I really get a lot of pain from doing that. So what I do is now I do middle on 6 and ring uh, pinky on 7 and the ring pretty much does nothing. Um, from there it sort of looks more comfortable, it sort of sits better and it means that when I'm trying to hit the combinations I don't have to jerk my ring finger back every single time I want to hit the buttons. With my left hand I've sort of figured that by doing this, I'm actually restricting a lot of the space that I'm using. Um, like, I've got two free fingers that I can use, and I thought, alright, well, it seems that one of the more vital things towards the top end is to use your index finger of your opposite hand on your scratch hand, I mean, if you're a right side player, then it's obviously your right hand, on that fourth key, because that fourth key sort of I assume is the middle of the controller and when most patterns are sort of orientated to one hand you want that hand as free as possible to do the pattern so I figured that if my right hand's occupied you know doing a big pattern like that then using this finger as well is going to make it really difficult so I figured that if I do my left finger across like so it'll make it a lot easier so what I've ended up doing is from Hood and C Star Flare all those people who do that with like you know the index on three uh, middle on two and ring on one is I've sort of moved up from there and put my usual thumb in there so it looks a little bit like so. Um, that basically gives me a full spread of the controller and when I scratch it means that I'm not going to be able to hit all the keys but I'm able to interchange my thumb in there like so to sort of get everything. Now, I actually do have a problem with this, and if anyone could help me out, that'd be awesome. When I'm doing those combinations, I find that I'm always sort of one key short. Like, I have to move my hand down to get that combination, or I have to move that down. And sometimes there's some combinations which I can't hit, which I find is a bit irritating. So, if anyone can help me out with that, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, I suppose the only really way to show you guys how I do this is by playing a song, I suppose. Um, I couldn't be asked asking for recommendations, so I'm just going to play whatever. Um, I'm going to do a screen capture too, but 
it's probably gonna suck. So you probably just see my hands, just like Billy's video. So I'm gonna pick a random song and you can watch me do it. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it, I suppose. Um, I would have done a harder song, but I really can't be fucked doing another five minute intro about my technique, so fuck you guys. Uh, if you do have any requests, just uh, send me messages or PMs or whatever, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with hand vids and whatever. So yeah, that's my technique. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, go Australia for the Olympics. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a wrap.